when Macklemore and Ryan Lewis scooped up best rap album at the Grammys, everyone thought that Kendrick Lamar should have won it, especially Macklemore, who posted an apology on social media. Now another nominee is speaking up. My worst behavior. No. They used to never want to hear us. In an interview with Rolling Stone magazine, Drake slams Macklemore for Instagramming a text message to Kendrick Lamar that said he was robbed of the Grammy. The Toronto native says posting a private conversation on social media is whack and it felt cheap. Drizzy tells the mag that, quote, he made a brand of music that appealed to more people than me, Hove, Kanye, and Kendrick, adding he tapped into something we can't tap into. Oh, and Drake's still waiting for his text because he thinks he got robbed too. Drake's reported on again, off again. Girl Rihanna claims she was nearly bankrupt by a former accountant. Riri filed legal docs claiming that at one point in 2009, she had 11 million bucks, but by the end, she only had two to her name. The singer says he gave her the green light to make a major home purchase. And when the 25-year-old sold the house, she took a huge hit to the tune of two million bucks. 09 may have been a bad year for the Bayesian beauty, but now she's worth a reported 83 million bucks. So sounds like her finances are finally in order. It just seems like the toughest life. Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon's marriage was the picture of perfection, but after a recent radio interview, it looks like the couple could be heading to Splitsville. Can we just distribute splashes? Mariah Carey sipped on champagne through a bizarre interview with Power 1051's morning show. The singer who sported shades and brought her own lighting to a radio interview raised eyebrows when she spoke of hubby Nick Cannon. What does Mariah expect for Valentine's? What does Nick have to do for you? Valentine's Day is not going to be at home from what I hear now. From what you hear. Oh, he's going to be in the All-Star. <laughs> <laughs> that your husband? Nick says whatever he wants, and that's Nick. Like, I can't just be like, oh, well, Nick said, like, I don't always love what he talks about. Right. Could their love be on the rocks? The couple just put their renovated Bel Air mansion on the market. And when asked about balancing career and motherhood, Carrie disses Cannon's parenting. Nick will tend to be like, he has fun with them babies when they're fun. And then when it gets to the point when he's like, they're <laughs> interfering with other things, they go to the crib. And that's fine. The Grammy winner reportedly stopped wearing her wedding ring in October when Cannon raved about his family to Entertainment City. And you guys from the outside seem to have have it all. You know what? It's about enjoying each other. And I mean, it started off, I mean, my wife is my dream girl. And then to have the two most amazing children ever. And it's like, it, it, I feel so blessed. Guessing that marital bliss is dissolved. Rumors that Bruce Jenner is going through a sex change have been flying, but recent reports suggest it's nothing more than a midlife crisis. Since separating from Kris Jenner, the 64-year-old has undergone major surgery on his Adam's apple and lightened his long locks. Turns out it's an obsession with plastic surgery and the Kardashian clan are concerned, calling his new look absurd. Meanwhile, he's reportedly loving his new bachelor life in Malibu and wants out of the family's reality show, keeping up with the Kardashians. And always we want to hear what you have to say. Just find us on Twitter and tweet us at NCity.